Um, well, me. <laughs> me. <laughs> no, me. <laughs> Not you. <laughs> <laughs> she still gets carded. <laughs> now, um, it's the ugly girl is, is, well, I have a lot of friends w with disabilities, and we sometimes would get together to go out. And one of the things we would find certain things in common, okay? And one is that people would hate us for no reason. One, two, people would want to pray over us to cure us. <laughs> <laughs> there are, I mean, there are things, well, two, uh, you know, that, yeah, I know. <laughs> like that. But there would be certain things in common. And then I would have my feminist friends, and we would have certain things in common. Nobody ever thought we had a sense of humor. You know, you know people thought we were belabored. Yeah, 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 you want more money. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, go have a baby. You know, things like that. Then there were queers. You know, people would, oh, for crap's sake. Even though you know, the queers are now kind of, you know, there's like a kind of a sexual entree to all of that. Still, people hate us. <laughs> You know, intellectuals, oh, God, particularly in America, they really hate intellectuals. So you have queer, feminist, ugly, intellectual troublemaker, because we're not going to stand for that. And, uh, you know, you know so, so, so what do we have all of this? So it's all of these things. But, but really, the ugly girl represents, there used to be a thing in the United States called the ugly laws. If you were too ugly, ugly, or you were disabled, you were asked to keep off the streets. You could not be seen publicly, okay? So there is a real and true and still an enduring hatred. And it's still like this in some of third world countries, and not even third world countries, other countries, where there is, look at Russia who hates queers, but look at the, the people who hate disability, who fear it, who are th uh, fine. There's a superstition about it. So that's where that comes from. That's where it comes from. And then it comes from Buster Keaton, and then it comes from Charlie Chaplin, and then it comes from all those little hapless little, <laughs> you know, cartoon characters. You know, the ones who are they're really eager, and they fall flat on their face. Yeah. They slip on the banana peel. They die. But not after a kind of a valiant effort. That's, that's where that comes from. Oh, man. Fucking great. Go on, tell them. They're dead. The musical rehearsals. Yeah. I can tell you about I mean, Rehearsals story. are going wonderfully. <laughs> We're at the stage right now where the show has entered its teenage years, mm -hmm. you know, and we're all looking at it, hoping that it's going to turn into something wonderfully ugly. I love these rehearsals. People are doing so many funny things. I wake up chuckling. You know, I, I, I watch, again, I watch this wonderful scene with Jimmers McAuliffe and Liz Carr when she's using her chair in the most exquisite ways. She, 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 does, she does a tango in this chair. I think it's hysterical. I love it. I love to watch people being beaten I think it's <laughs> but to a purpose <laughs> Scooter abuse. it's funny and and the rehearsals yeah we've got a lot to work to do but we've done a lot of work and you see it and you watch it and it's funny and there's sometimes though where it's absolutely riveting and so touching so uh, like unexpectedly moving because you just don't expect to be that moved in the middle of comedy and you are, at least I am. You know, I wrote the thing, but you know, I'm so skeptical of what I'm writing. It's like, I, <laughs> no tears for me, fuckers. <laughs> <laughs> Come see it. <laughs> yes, yes, please. Add your own two damn cents. <laughs> yeah. You ought to see it. it. Well, Liz and Christine keeps telling us, nobody does this. Nobody does this. Nobody lets us move this way. Nobody lets us try. Nobody tries this. Well, we're trying it. So, come say it. That's it. Thank you. <laughs> and now I'm going to go puff my pipe. <laughs>